All right, so with the help of Lori, um, I'm going to show you guys a few settings in Seesaw that I would recommend for um, being able to communicate and send stuff to kids, not just receive um, items from your students. So um, let's click on manage class. She only has one class. She has homeroom. Um, and I would probably, like, let's just say that that's a good idea. Even if you have two different classes or three different classes that you, that come to you th during the day, if you're a third grade teacher and you um, teach math three times a day, well, you don't necessarily have to break those up into three different classes. Um, that keeps the kids from having to sign in and out of your Seesaw classroom. Um, if you have three different classes, you know, they have to scan that um, QR code a couple times every day, every time you switch. So if you throw them all in one home room, save yourself a little bit of headache. Um, so first off, I'm going to click on uh, Manage Class. And let's talk about this one. This is shared devices. Students sign into your class using the QR code. Students can add items to their journal and other journals in the class. Uh, recommended for shared devices. To me, what this means is at the beginning of the year, hypothetically, at the beginning of the year, you scan your uh, QR codes or you get your um, iPads into your Seesaw class and you never have to get out of that Seesaw class again. Um, this one, if you have shared devices, it's made for one for one, one to one, by the way. So every time the kid picks up the uh, iPad, if they want to switch students, they have to scan uh, the class code every time. This one, if you have all your kids lumped into um, one class, then you never have to scan again. So kind of a best practices kind of housekeeping housekeeping thing. Um, likes and comments, opt up to you. Uh, I would probably shut down comments just to keep, uh, you know, the gossip down to a minimal. But sure, likes, why not? It's just a thumbs up, right? And uh, Lori has her set to comments require approval, just like items do. Um, this was a big one for her. Uh, she wanted kids to be able to use their finger and draw over um, like worksheets that she would send out and maybe speak over while they're drawing, explaining what they're doing on the worksheet. So um, enable item editing, that was a big one. Um, and this one is actually a big one too. Um, students can see each other's work. That is the feed view to me. I believe that that means you can click on the class name and get the feed view. And for Ms. Walrick and for a lot of our teachers, we want to kick out links to other websites and we want to kick out uh, worksheets and things that we have scanned in. Well, you have to, students have to get to the feed view to be able to do that. Otherwise, they're kind of locked into just creating items. This lets them um, view items that you've posted and edit items that you've posted. Um, parent access, that's not what this video is about, but we can talk about that later. I do like the blog, Miss um, Warwick or Miss Lori. She can uh, post a QR code that leads to her blog, and she puts her favorite assignments in, um, and not just all the jibber jabber that the kids have put in all year long. So if the kids made one project and one video, or you know, a couple videos or a couple of things, she can choose to add those to her blog. Um, that QR code needs to be in one place, though. I'll put that outside my classroom window. Uh, I guess you could send it home with parents, but I don't think I'd recommend it. Folders, we're not worried about that. Um, that is really about it. Uh, let's recap. Sign-in mode, shared devices. That's important to me. Having your kids in one class is probably that's important to me. Students can see each other's work. That's the feed view, so that... Kids can see your links like we've been working on Edpuzzle. And if you want your kids to be able to put up a link to
to Edpuzzle or see your link that you put in Seesaw in the feed view. That has to be checked and item editing. If you want to scan in worksheets, have them doodle around and uh, speak over their doodles. Uh, let's enable item editing. All right, that's it. Thank you.